Yep, we are live. Yes, we are. Hi. Um, today I have got my um, friend, wit, and awesome rock star that he is. Um, and we are going to be sharing duplicatable systems and three steps to success. Yeah. So if you're uh, watching me live, then please don't be shy and say hi and where you're coming in from. And if you're catching me on the replay, then please drop a replay down below so I can say a couple of comments and say hello to you. And if you don't know me or you're watching me for the first time, I am Sarah from SarahGrinnell.com. And I help coach and train entrepreneurs, networkers, home-based business owners, anyone that is uh, moving products or building teams to leverage social media using attraction marketing so that you can basically love what you're doing instead of doing all those spammy tactics of, of sending the awkward messages and posting about your products. So before uh, Wit shares his story, um, I just want to, uh, he, he has built a huge, a massive, massive audience um, and a huge following of, of Raven fans just on social media uh, by building online and, it, and he, he's done this and he's got multiple income streams as well and he's, he's done it without sending the awkward spanning messages without posting about his products or his opportunity and without prospecting anybody at all um, and if this is something that um, you would love to do, then please stay tuned because um, right at the very end, we are, we've got something uh, big lined up and we want to share it with you. So please stay, stay tuned in till, till the end. Um, and I just mentioned that, that WIT has built 100% online and there's a few, few people that believe, well, that believe you can't do this. Yeah. And next month will be 12 months until i first spoke to you with yeah it's crazy and and we have never actually physically met in person yeah. no nope. and and i've got a, a successful business and it's all because of the systems that we have in place and how we actually build online which has enabled us both Yep. to build 100% online. So if, if you want to share a little bit about um, what it is that, that you have done um, to, yeah. get, to get this success. Absolutely. And so <clears throat> I'm just curious for those that are going to be watching, whether it's live or whether it's a replay or whatever that may be, I'm just curious, how many of you have ever maybe done some of the things that uh, Sarah was talking about? Maybe Maybe you have sent out the random messages. Maybe maybe you have bugged your fam family and friends over and over and over and over and over again. Okay, Maybe you fit into some of those categories and maybe you even feel awkward at this moment building your business just because of the strategies you're being taught. And they're kind of going against kind of your, your own personal being. You know, it's kind of like this tug of war of, I know I need to do it because I want to grow my business, but it's not me, so I don't want to be doing it and all of that stuff. And so um, if you fit into any of those categories, just let us know. Drop us a hand in the air uh, down in the comments. Let us know. Um, but that was actually me and Carrie. So me and my wife, Carrie, who build, uh, we build this business together. You don't get to see her on camera this morning because uh, she she's hanging out with our two-month-old. Um, and uh, our two-month-old, she, like, she likes to sleep in in the morning. So that just gives mom a good reason. I to, do look at to, Yeah, to, <laughs> that gives mom a good reason to do the same thing. Um, but uh, we built this, we built this business together. And actually for the first two and a half years of our, uh, our, of our business, that's exactly what we did. So when Sarah says that we build hundred percent online now, it's not that we don't have the experience of building offline. I actually built for two and a half years offline before we found attraction marketing and online strategies. And so when we first got started in our marketing, um, I did everything that I was told to do. You know, I remember I remember sitting down with my upline. My upline said, okay, let's put a whole bunch of people down on a piece of paper of the ones that you want to contact right now. Um, write out their number if you have it in their phone. If you don't have it in their phone, go and find them on Facebook. Um, and because we're going to be messaging these people. And I remember me and Carrie, that's the first thing that we did. We jumped in and we started hitting the ground running. We contacted everybody that we knew. And six months later, we hadn't signed up a single person. 
Okay. For six months, we talked to hundreds of people over and over and over again with zero to with literally zero results to show for it. And, um, you know, most people in this industry would have gave up probably two or two, three, four months before, you know, before that, because they hadn't had any results yet. They had talked to the majority of their friends and family. And so they would have just given up. And I remember, you know, luckily on that six month, we signed up some people. And as fast as they came into our business, they left just as quickly. So a couple weeks later, they were gone because, you know, me and Carrie, we were doing we were doing things that they were not willing to do, which was they didn't want to bug anybody. They didn't want to cold market prospect anybody and stuff like that. And so I remember after two and a half years of doing that, we, me and Carrie, we used to go to the Las Vegas Strip. We live about five hours from Las Vegas. And um. We went down to the strip when we for three months straight every weekend we'd drive down there for five hours get a hundred numbers from prospecting people on the strip come back home call all those numbers see if they're interested in an opportunity no takers go back down get a hundred numbers again call them again we did that for three months straight and at the time we were driving a little mazda 3 which is a teeny That's teeny awesome. car yeah and we had we had two little boys at the time and i remember um, I remember with two little boys, we'd have to take them down with us sometimes because my parents couldn't take them or whatever. And, you know, trying to sleep four people in a little Mazda three and because we didn't have money to get in a hotel, we had to sleep in like Walmart parking lots and different things like that it was not a fun experience necessarily. Yeah. Something that I probably wouldn't do again. Um, but after all of that prospecting for two and a half years, the only thing that me and my wife had to show for it was in basically an $80 residual paycheck. So all we were making in our business was 80 bucks. And I remember January of 2016, Carrie basically looked at me and said, Whit, if we don't do something different, I'm done. I'm out. I'm not going to be doing it this way anymore. And I looked at her and like physically you could tell she was out. She's not doing this business anymore. And so I remember January 2016, I said, Look, listen, I'm going to take care of this. I'm going to enroll some people this month and we're going to get this ball rolling. So I was working a full-time job at the time, and I remember um, I did over 100, uh, 100 meetings by myself. I think it was like somewhere like 120 meetings in the month of January of 2016, uh, working a full-time job. So right when I got done with my job, I'd go and do meeting after meeting after meeting until 10 o'clock at night or 11 o'clock at night. And I remember at the end of that, I signed up zero people in January 2016. And so even for me at that point, I was like, okay. I've got to do something different enough to build this enough. business. Yeah, like enough is enough. I've got to learn some new strategies. And luckily, um, the next month, that is when we came across Attraction Marketing. And because we were searching, we were trying to build on social media. I came across Attraction Marketing. Um, my upline actually talked to me about it. She's like, you got to you got to check this out. And I said, OK. So we kind of jumped in it together. And I remember going back to Carrie and I said, hey, listen, I found the way that we're going to build this business. And she and I remember even Carrie, when we started learning the strategy, she was like, um, you're not getting me into this. You already got me into network marketing. I'm not getting into something else. I am not doing it. And but luckily she sat down, she took a look at the information and um, that's how we kind of found attraction marketing. And so kind of fast forward, uh, me and my wife have been able to build a following of close to around a hundred thousand people on social media through different areas and platforms and in our email list and stuff like that. Um, to where now we've kind of figured out three specific things that we duplicate inside of our team. And also, you know, Sarah being a part of that team has been able to duplicate as well. And now her team is starting to duplicate those behaviors. Um, and that's what, that's what me and Sarah are going to kind of graze over um, in this session because I don't want to give you all the details yet because me and Sarah, we've got something pretty cool planned for you guys um, this coming Thursday um, at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. Uh, me and another rock star in our team are going to be actually diving into these three specific things um, more in depth and then also sharing with you how you might be a part of that. OK, like actually, how can you take these steps and start applying them into your business? So I'm just curious for those that are live. How many of you can relate to my story at all? How many of you have maybe done some of the things that I've talked about there? How many not cold marks? Not as crazy as you, but yeah. I've, I've you've done, done similar <laughs> things. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, I, what's funny about that is, is I look back and like, 
I never felt like I was doing anything crazy. Like I was just like, oh, this is this is what we do, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what then, you, you taught to think like that, though, right? Yeah. Like I was, man, I had an IV hooked into me and I was drinking the juice <laughs> of network marketing. And, but I look back now and I'm like, like we were a different breed for not like quitting as fast as, and I remember guys even having my upline come to me and, you know, we'd been doing it and we were told, we told him what we were doing and we were trying to get this figured out. And, and I remember he looked at us and he goes, he's like, I honestly don't know how the hell you guys are still doing this. He's all, most people would have gave up years ago and here you guys are still trucking along, trying to figure it out and uh, with very little to show for it. And I just said, uh, you know, I told way too many people that I was going to be successful in this industry. So I just to say, just to say, hey, like, if, I, if I wasn't successful, I was going to have to move. I told way too many people that they that, ha ha, you're going to be stuck doing that. And I'm going to be doing this and I'm going to have fun. And I wasn't having fun. And so I had to prove that I could have fun at this thing and, and make money. And so. Um, and, that, so yeah, and, that, that, and that's the thing, really, because when I, I was my first three or four months, I was quite successful with sales. Yeah. And I actually said we actually saved up enough money from my sales for my husband and I, Paul and I, to, to travel to New York, New York for a week. Yep. Um, but as soon as the Christmas festivities was over, my my sales dived, yeah. completely dived. And yeah. um, I, 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 I didn't even know I was in the network marketing industry. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you're so, like, I'm doing something. Yeah, yeah. So when 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 I was told oh, you've got to build a team, I was like, what? what <laughs> I have to do what? Yeah. <laughs> so I I did all that. I did I did all the online um spammy tactics, all the sending the cold messages and um the prospecting online. And I literally had two people join me. But this is where the duplicatable system comes in um, because they wasn't willing to do what I was doing. Yeah. They, didn't, they didn't want to do the cold prospecting. They didn't want to post about the products or, or their opportunity on, on social media. Yeah. Um, and, and literally, like I said, no sooner had they started, they just they just fallen apart because I couldn't yeah. teach them anything. Yeah. Um, and I got to a point where I did a, a challenge for 15 days and I was completely exhausted. Yeah. Uh, it was it was during school holiday. I should have been spending time with my kids and I was literally glued to social media. And I just thought, after the end, I just thought, this is enough. I, I can't yeah. do this anymore. And um, lo and behold, an, an traction marketing post mm -hmm. popped up on my social media. Yeah. Um, so that's when I, I, found, I found it and... Um, I knew I couldn't do this by myself, though. I, I tried. I tried for six months, I think it was, until I reached out to yourself. Yeah. Um, and that's when I thought, right, this is what I want. I need what you can teach me. I need what you can mentor me. I need this duplicatable system. Yep. And it's been life-changing. Yeah. Well, and and and... and... The thing is, is like a lot of people, they're always looking kind of like for like a magic button, like something that they can just push and it solves all their problems, right? <laughs> yeah, like, oh my God, like I never have to worry about, you know, building my team anymore because it's just going to do it for me type of a thing or whatever that may be. And at the end of the day, what we have is is very duplicatable because it's a system and a process that other people can do. Um, and I realized like as I was building my business, like who was gonna who was gonna do what I did? Like in all honesty, who was willing to go sleep in their car? Who was willing to go and prospect people on Las Vegas Strip? Like, I take a look back at that and I was like, that system and process was not duplicatable by the masses. No. And um, and so like at the end of the day, like there is no magic button. There is gonna be still ups and downs building on social media. But the difference is, is I don't have to do the things that I used to do and I can still get results. And I've even gotten faster and better results with better quality people. And I got to do it actually from my house, like just for the sheer, like I didn't have to go and put miles on my car and I didn't have to spend hours and hours in a Walmart or a Kmart or a mall trying to get somebody's number to take a, take a look at my opportunity. 
even if it took me longer to get to where I wanted to be, at least I was happy in my business. At yeah. least I was enjoying my business. And because again, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't out anything. I wasn't spending more money now because I was spending so much money just traveling just to get to locations where people were that it was becoming not worth it. And it, it just didn't make sense anymore. And so that kind of leaves us to where guys like, there are three specific things that every network marketer needs to learn in this industry. And sadly enough, network marketing, which a big part of that word is marketing. Most network marketers are not marketing. Okay. Their marketing strategy is just like we talked about. You have friends and family go and talk to all of those people and let's see how many people we can get to join. But the problem is, is well, what happens when you start to talk to those people, you only have so many people on that list. So as you start to go through those one by one and it gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, that's when panic starts to set in. You're like, Oh my God, I'm almost out of people. Nobody's, I haven't had near enough people say yes to me yet. What do I do? What am I going to do? And so all of a sudden now you start to stretch that list into weeks and days and months where you're, <laughs> where you're like, I only got two more people on there. So I'm going to call, I'm going to call this person this month and I'm going to call this person next month and I'm going to see if I can get them in. Okay. And so the biggest thing, one of the, one of the things that we're going to be talking to you guys about is actually our, our, how to build a network of people, a global network of people. So our global networker attractor basically in how to build your audience of targeted individuals on a daily basis. Okay. So that way you're not running out of people to talk to, or you're not running into that problem of, well, crap, now I'm out of people to talk to, which in my opinion is probably the number one problem that network marketers have is I'm out of people to talk to. Where do I find more? Yeah. So we're going to be talking about how to find those people, where to find those people, what that looks like. And we're going to dive into that a little bit more on this training that we're going to be going over Thursday. But once you start to grow that network, the next thing that we're going to go over with you is, is having the network is great, but if we don't have influence over that network, then nothing's going to happen. And this is, and to kind of give you an example of this, I remember going to my upline at one point and I said, Mr. Upline, what am I doing wrong here? I've been doing everything you've been telling me to do for two and a half years at 120% and I'm nowhere near the top. And I remember he looked at us and he goes, Whit, Carrie, you guys aren't doing anything wrong. You're just not talking to the right people. And I said, oh, where do those people hang out if I'm not talking to them? Where do they hang out, right? Please tell me. Yeah, like you got some, you got some like secret area that they just hang out and everybody's just raising their hand and saying, pick me, you know, like. And I remember he looked at me kind of like confused, like, well, what do you mean? Where do they hang out? And I remember he just said to me at that point, he goes, well, just keep talking to more people. I promise you they'll show up. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. That's not a strategy. That's just going through the sheer numbers of people hoping that I find that rock star, right? Just pretty much just playing roulette with my business. I'm going to roll the dice and see, you know, who shows up. And so I realized at that moment that I needed to learn how to build a network. I needed to actually learn where those people hung out, how to connect with them. But not only that, but when we start to build the network, which moves us into our second thing that you guys need to understand is how do I build influence over this network? Yeah. Okay. How and awesome yeah, like how do I, how do I build influence to where they know I can trust me by giving them value first? And, and all of that stuff, because again, when you have influence over people and you say, hey, this is what I'm doing, that's when the masses shift and say, hey, what's Sarah doing or what's Wit doing? You know, I've seen his stuff, I've consumed their content, I've watched whatever that may be. And then next thing you know, they're wanting to, they're wanting to join your team because of X, Y, and Z, you know, because of the value that you get. Okay. Apologies if you came out. No, no, you're good. You're good. He's got a, he's got a, he's got a good bark on him. Absolutely. But it's just not to the door. No, got it. But at the end of the day, guys, like if you're not growing a network, eventually you're going to run out of people to talk to. And that's where people stop. So let's focus on growing the network, how to grow influence over that network. And then the third thing that we're going to be talking about guys is how to actually promote your business without being a salesy weirdo. Okay or even being hypey. You don't need to be hypey to sell your product, okay? And so we're gonna show you how you can effectively promote your business without being 
a salesy salesman or a hypey whatever, whatever you want to call that. We're going to teach yeah, you how to do that. Post and about products. Yep, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And so those are like the big three things that we're going to be talking about in this training. And so I'm just curious, for those of you who are going to be watching this, how many of you would love to learn those three things? How to grow a network, inf grow influence over that network, and how to promote your business without being a salesy weirdo. Okay? Just curious. Let me hear in the comments if that's something that you're interested in, because that's what we're going to be talking about. Yes. So those, those are the, the three steps to success. And, and like we said, we're going to be going through that on Thursday in a live webinar. So if you want yes. to be part of this, I am going to drop a link in the chat below. Um, and if you go, go grab that link, register for the webinar, and you will learn how to do these three steps to success yep. and how yep. it duplicates in, in your team. And and here and here's the cool thing, guys, is is you guys are following a page right now of an individual that has been living these strategies for almost 12 months now. You know, struggled probably like a lot of you struggled, found a solution to those problems, and now is teaching other people how to do this. And so um you're gonna be in really, really good hands with Sarah on, on, on this page. And so I encourage you for those that are following her, if you haven't turned your notifications on yet when she goes live on, on this page. I highly recommend you turn those notifications on because you do not want to miss the stuff that she's going to be delivering because again, we're sharing these three things in depth. She shares a lot of this information on a daily basis with you guys. And so you guys are in great hands. You guys are going to learn from some amazing people on Thursday. So definitely go and check out her link down below. Grab your spot because they are filling up super, super yes, quickly. They are very quick. So, so grab those, uh, grab your spot so that way you guys don't miss out um, on this amazing, amazing training that's going to be going down on Thursday. Oh, thank you very much, Whit, for joining me. Yes. Uh, I've, I've loved this. That's, that's two interviews I've done the last two days. I, I love it. it. <laughs> love it, so, love it. Yes, go ahead and grab that link. And if you haven't set your notifications, then yes, please do. And thank you for watching. Um, yes. I keep looking down and not looking at the camera. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, thank you for watching. I yeah. <laughs> I'll look at you and not up there. Yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, and I will see you again tomorrow at the same time. So take care. See you, everybody. Have a fantastic day. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.